All right, let's talk about the pros and cons of living in Agora Hills. If you've watched some of my other pros and cons videos, you know that I don't sugarcoat things. I give it to you straight, and I'm willing to dive into some uncomfortable topics that a lot of realtors don't like bringing up because they just wanna sell you a house, any house. Agora, or Agura as some people pronounce it, I've never totally understood, but I'm going with Agora. Agora Hills is a popular spot for people looking to get out of the congestion of the city and settle in for a nice, quiet suburban life. What? That's part of suburban life. <laughs> in this video, I'm going to cover three pros and three cons of living in Agora Hills with a bonus at the end. So stick around so you can decide if this is the town for you. If you're considering a move to Agora Hills, be sure to also check out my videos on the pros and cons of living in Thousand Oaks, Newbury Park, and Westlake Village so you can get an idea of the differences between the different Conejo Valley towns. I've linked all of those videos below. I said towns. <laughs> I'm, just feeling, I'm just feeling the, the kind of country vibe here, towns. If you don't already know me, my name is Emily Burdon and I'm a residential realtor in the Conejo Valley, which includes the town of Agora Hills. I get people reaching out to me all the time about relocating to this area. My contact info is in the description of this video. So go ahead and reach out if you're considering a move. And then, and then be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I publish another video about the Conejo Valley. Okay, let's dive in. Pro number one, location, location, location. Is this supposed to be three locations? Three, Four three, locations. Three, but... Bonus, you get another location. One thing you can't change about your house is the location. And Agora Hills has the best location out of all the Conejo Valley towns. It's the closest town to Los Angeles. It's got the shortest drive to some of the most desirable Malibu beaches. Its neighbor to the north is Oak Park, which we'll get more into in pro number three. Its neighbor to the west is Westlake Village, which if you've watched my pros and cons of living in Westlake Village, you know that that's where all the best restaurants are. Although two of my favorite restaurants are in Agora. Should I mention that? They should be paying me to talk about them in my video. Don't put that in the bloopers. And then your neighbor to the east is Calabasas and Hidden Hills. So if you're looking to have a run-in with a Kardashian or some other local celebrity, it's more likely to happen if you're living in Agora Hills. That was stupid. Pro number two, it has a vibe. <laughs> Unlike most suburban towns that feel like suburbs, Agora Hills has this old world rustic vibe that is reminiscent of a time when California was the Wild West. Some notable things you'll find are horse properties and people riding their horses through the streets of Old Agora, the old place. This popular community staple is tucked away in the hills of Agora. It's an ex-general store turned restaurant that offers a one-of-a-kind dining experience in a setting that feels like something out of a Western film. And then there's the Canyon Club, an intimate, an, int, an intimate music, <laughs> I can't speak. An intimate, that's what's really tripping me up. And then there's the Canyon Club, an intimate music venue that features some of your favorite old school bands. They also have tribute bands. And if you're into country music, complete with line dancing and mechanical bulls, then you're gonna wanna check out Country Night on Wednesdays. Yeehaw, that didn't come out right. All right, pro number three, schools. The Las Virginas School District is a big draw for families who are looking to get out of the Los Angeles School District. But what makes it even better is Agora Hills sits right next to Oak Park. Oak Park is a small community of about 14,000 residents and it has its own highly regarded school district. Living in Agora Hills, it's easy and convenient to school of choice into the Oak Park schools. So in Agora Hills, you have many options when it comes to education and they're all really great. Before I get into to the cons, I will give you one that's right down the middle, and that is with a population of about 20,000 residents, Agora Hills is a small town with a small town vibe. Now, this town has probably a stronger sense of community than any of the other Conejo Valley towns. They have numerous community events throughout the year, including movie nights in the park during the summer. But all that being said, get ready to see people you know everywhere you go. It's good enough. All right, pro. Uh, all right, moving on to the cons. Con number one, and this is a big one, it gets hot in Agora Hills, despite the fact that I'm freezing right now. I'm trying to not shake. Did you want to wear my jacket? Do I look that cool? <laughs> yeah. 
Temperatures across the Conejo Valley can vary by about 10 to 15 degrees in the summer months, with Agora being on the hotter end of that. The temperatures start dropping as you move west or north. 101, west, north, which one is it? It's north on the 101, it but you're moving west, and I just, overall. so annoying. West along the 101, north. <laughs> Temperatures start dropping as you move west. So Agora is going to be the hottest town and Newbury Park is going to be the coolest. In the summer months, expect temperatures to be in the mid to high 90s with many days hitting triple digits. Ouch. Con number two, it's one of the more expensive towns in the Conejo Valley, only second to the prestigious Westlake Village. Why is that? Well, that goes back to pro number one, location. The closer you are to Los Angeles, the more expensive the real estate gets. Let's compare apples to apples. Let's look at a 2,500 square foot home in the various Conejo Valley towns and see what it sold for in the past year. In Agora, the median home price was 1.39 million, only only second to Westlake Village, which was 1.55 million. Oak Park was neck and neck with Agora Hills at 1.34 million. Thousand Oaks was 1.25 million. And Newbury Park was just under 1.1 million. Now, when we're assessing the value of an area, there's more to look at than just price. You also need to look at the condition of the homes. That brings me to, pro sorry, con. So this brings me to con number three, dated architecture. Most of the homes in Agora were built between the 60s and the 80s and are reminiscent of that time. You know what I mean? A lot of these homes need a lot of updating to bring them in to the 21st century. I had a side note, but I'm gonna take it out. Agora has everything from condos to modest homes to large homes to grand estates, but almost all of these homes, even the really nice ones, are in track style neighborhoods that have that repetitive look and feel. Now, I will give one caveat, and that is that in my opinion, Agora Hills did a good job with their track style housing. It's cookie cutter, but it's not to cookie cutter. It's not cookie cutter, cookie cutter. It's just cookie cutter. What the heck is going on? The old Agora neighborhood is an exception to this with large custom homes, some that were built in the 1930s and then some that have been recently rebuilt. But one thing you won't find in Agora Hills is a new development like you'll find in the other Conejo Valley towns. Now here's, okay. Now here's a bonus con, and not because I think that there are more cons than pros to living in Agora Hills, but just because I think it's worth mentioning. A lot of folks move out to the Conejo Valley to get out of LA, but when you live in Agora Hills, you're still in Los Angeles County. You'll still pay LA taxes and you'll be subject to LA County regulations. Now, if you're considering a move to Agora Hills, you should also consider Westlake Village, Agora Hills, <laughs> you should also consider Westlake Village, Thousand Oaks, and Newbury Park. Be sure to check out the videos I've created on the pros and cons of living in those areas. I've linked everything in the description below. Also, all my contact info is in the description of this video. So reach out if you're considering purchasing a home in Agora Hills or one of the surrounding areas. It would be my pleasure to help you find the best neighborhood for you. I look forward to connecting with you. I'm Thank cold. You. All right, you done? You ready? How cold it is. One thing, oh, I know my hair looks terrible. <laughs> Con number two. Sorry. I know I'll do that one more time. That didn't make sense. That was it. <laughs> I, I don't think I need to say that. Some people say Agura. With a bonus at the end, no. My other pros and cons videos. Why aren't those kids in school? What is it? Location, location, location. That's it. Pro number two. <laughs> School favorite. Some of your, f the thing with Oak Park is that, I, I, I meant to talk about tribute bands. So, uh, is the location. But, I feel like that whole thing is stupid. Like west on the 101 North, okay. That's always irritated me. I said towns. <laughs>